This old guy DIY video has to do with trying to unfreeze a frozen diesel fuel gas system in a 1986 L2550 Kubota four-wheel drive tractor. So it's been about nine degrees up here recently. They're forecasting snow for this evening. So I came out to start the tractor. It wouldn't go. I threw the battery charger on it and now it'll crank over nicely, but it's not getting any fuel. So I took this heat lamp and right now I have a 90 watt incandescent bulb in there shining on this side of the engine. I'm about to throw a tarp over the top to make it kind of a tent and then I'll make a run to town and actually get a heat lamp bulb but I'm going to let this thing sit for a few hours. They're forecasting 35 degrees later today and I'm hoping having this direct heat as well as the overall warmer temperature will allow me to get this thing started before I have a storm roll in that's potentially bringing 20 inches of snow tonight. So that's what my little setup looks like. I'll put my tarp tent on and be right back with you. And this is what it looks like with my tarp tent on there. Come back here. Now and there you can see the area I'm trying to heat up. I'll let you know if this works. It's been an hour and a half with my 75 watt floodlight on the other side and the engine block over there is reading 55 degrees and the block on this side is reading 25 degrees. I just went to town to get some actual heating bulbs like they use on chickens. I also got some super duper juice that's supposed to stop gelling in the diesel fuel. But I'm going to try to start this thing right now before I go on to step two. Well, it cranked over and sounded like it wanted to go, but it would not take off. So now I'm going to replace that little floodlight bulb with an actual heat lamp bulb. Now I wanted to compare the output of a regular 75 watt flood lamp with the heat lamp. You can see the temperature on the face of the flood lamp is 233 degrees Fahrenheit. Now I'm going to install this best value 250 watt heat lamp that I got at Family Farm and Home. We'll see what the temperature is on the face of this thing. So this heat lamp goes up to 430 degrees in the first five minutes. So it's about double the output of a regular outdoor floodlight bulb that I had on the flag. Now I position the heat lamp back near the fuel filter and hopefully this will loosen things up. So in the first six minutes we've taken the fuel filter exterior temperature up to 60 degrees. I'll go on the other side and show you what the block reads over there. And the block on this side with no heat applied reads 37. Well, it's been an hour and a half with the heat lamp on. Now the block right there is reading 80 degrees. Filter housing is reading 70. I'm going to try starting the tractor again. Well, the tractor cranked over nicely but would not start. So I'm going to move this lamp up forward on the tractor. So as I continue my learning by doing process, I loosened up this retainer for the fuel filter and I had fuel running out so I know that's all loose. And I came over here and I believe this is the fuel pump. I mean you have an inlet line and an output line. So I came up here and pulled this line off and just had it off to the side and cranked the motor over and there was no fuel coming out of that thing. So I believe my issue is probably a failed fuel pump. So this thing was made in 1986. It has about 1900 hours on it. I'll go read online tonight, confirm that that's the fuel pump. If so, I'll order a new one and troubleshoot some more in a few days. This old guy DIY video has to do with learning by doing. I have this 1986 Kubota L2550 that failed to start and it was about 9 degrees at the time. So I suspected that my issue was gelled diesel fuel. So I went through everything to heat it up, remove the filter, made sure I had flow there. Then I found I had flow at the little transfer pump, but uh, nothing coming out of the pump. So I suspected my pump was bad. So last night I went and picked up a 12 volt 
electric fuel pump and I wired that in today and I'll show you my temporary fix that will allow me to plow snow today since we have four inches of snow from a forecast 14 to 20 but I just started the thing up and it's running as you can hear so I'll pull in here and you can see down here the old transfer pump is over here you can't see it very well but this is a new electric pump that I put in and for the sake of my test just put a couple of wires here and I ran it back and I have access right here to the light it's on a switch right here so anyway I was able to get the thing running for the first time this is the first time it's running about a month because I didn't need it and now I can hook it up and use it for snow so I hope this video helps you have a good day